Good afternoon again. Welcome. This is our brand new uh, virtual listing presentation. This is Robert Rodriguez. And today we have all four Miami trainers on board in our chat. So anyone with questions, please feel free and direct your questions to our chat. Before we get started, also, I went ahead and attached a document at the very beginning of the chat. It's called Miami Resource Links. This has our links. It has our trainer email address. So if anyone has any questions in regards to anything at the Miami Association of Realtors, you can always email us at trainers at miamire.com. Then if you want to follow us on social media, we have our Facebook page in there as well, our Instagram page. We also have our YouTube channel. So those of you that want to take advantage of all of our video recordings, you can go to youtube.com forward slash Miami Trainers and take a look through our library of videos. And I'm about to show it to you right now. This is our YouTube channel. And it's simply Miami Trainers. You can go to YouTube and you can search for Miami Trainers or simply go to youtube.com forward slash Miami Trainers. And then you can access our uh, video library. You can select playlist and you can view all of our videos via playlist. You can view videos from any particular instructor. So right here we have Robert's uh, folder. We also have Maggie's folder. We have Christy's folder. And then we have Connie's folder. And we have folders for RPR, for the new matrix system. We have folders for Spanish and English classes. So once again, that's youtube.com forward slash Miami trainers. Please subscribe and receive notifications each and every time the trainers upload a video for you. That being said, we are recording our session and after some editing, we will be adding this recording to our YouTube channel. So please be on the lookout for that. Let's get started. Um, we created this class in order to show you the different ways that we can virtually present our listings to our customers and our followers. We're gonna begin first with Miami Realtors and going inside the Preferred Photographer Program. So we want to go to MiamiRealtors.com and we want to select Services, Products and Services, and then go select Multimedia Photos and Videos, and then select Preferred Photographer. All right, it's going to be right here, Preferred Photographer Program. The Miami Association of Realtors has put together a list of uh, photographers that you're able to hire and they will go and take professional photography. They'll take video, they'll take drone footages, and you can use them for the marketing inside of your listings. What's even better, they have the ability to upload these photos directly into your MLS listing. These are um, copyright free photos that you will be able to use throughout the existence of your listing. To the right, you will see the uh, list of photographers, so a directory. So by clicking on the directory, you will be able to see all the different approved photographers by the Miami Realtors that you can use. Each will contain their contact information and their website. All right, so uh, you know, feel free to browse through the directory and choose a photographer for your next listing. And that's the preferred photographer program. Of course, if you go back one page, you also have a brief video tutorial of or introduction on what the preferred photographer program is. All right, let's now go into our Miami dashboard. And from the Miami dashboard, we're going to see one program right here called Remind Pro. And Remind Pro is a way uh, well, it's more than a way. There's many different ways that you can use all elements of your career in one program. So we want to click on Remind Pro and we want to access our Remind system. We know that we offer Remind Pro classes. We also offer classes for prospecting and farming. You, what you may not know is that with Remind Pro, you're able to present your listing virtually to your customers in a live open house setting. So you must have a listing in order to get this done. And right here in our daily dashboard, you will see under my listings, I do have a test listing. So two ways that you can schedule a live virtual open house remind 
And one way will be by clicking on this little icon to the right that says create live open house. And then another way is to actually enter and go into your listing and then look for the remind live open house setting, which will be right here inside of your listing where it says create live open house. Now, who will view these open houses? Anyone inside of Remind, so any realtor that is using Remind will have access to your live open house. And then anyone that you invite to engage with inside of Remind, so all of your customers that are inside of Remind will also have access to this live open house. Let's click on create live open house and let's select a date. But before we do, take a look at the first option. It says Remind Live. Stream the open house with Remind. It is currently turned off. If you leave it off, then you are allowed to add a link to like um, your Zoom account or maybe your Facebook uh, account where you are, uh, will be streaming live from or even your Instagram account. So if you wanted to promote a live feed from your Facebook account, then you can add your Facebook address right here. And then you're gonna create your live open house through Facebook. Or if you're gonna be doing it through your Instagram account, then you add your Instagram or your Zoom account. Now, if you wanna stream inside of Remind, then you wanna turn this feature on. So by turning it on, now we will select a date. So let's select today's date, October 20th. And then we're gonna select the start time. All right, it is currently 1.15 in the afternoon. So let's go ahead and select 1.30 and it is automatically programmed to go for 30 minutes. You can add alternative hosts. So for example, if your owner, your seller is one of your clients inside of Remind, you can add them to this live open house so they can watch or even host the open house. We're gonna simply just select create and our live open house is now scheduled. All right, it is scheduled for today at 1.30 p.m. I'm gonna hit done. Now, if you go to remind, all right, and you go to search, and we wanna create a search for any live open houses going on today, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna click on add filter and then we're gonna select for status. We're gonna select active. And then we're gonna select live open house only. We're gonna turn that feature on. And we should see the listing that we just scheduled for as a live open house as a result. So this is how a Remind user will be able to see your listings and your virtual live open house inside of Remind. Let's wait for this. It's uh, taking a little longer than expected. All right, you should see the results on the right-hand side at some point. All right, so results unavailable. We said status, all right. So we went with uh, live open house and Let me zoom in to this area here and perhaps something is going on with Remind because it's supposed to show it to you. All right, but if it doesn't, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to call this a glitch in, inside the system because this is exactly how you would be looking for live open houses and there it is. All right, there it is. And we are going to see it here on the right-hand side eventually. All right, so we are having some technical difficulties. Bear with us, please. I'm just gonna zoom in. I know where the, uh, where the open house is scheduled. I know the address of the property. So hopefully it'll show it to us right away. And that's not the one. All right, that's not the one. We're still waiting for hours. Let's do something, let's do this again. Let's, let's close out this filter, okay? All right, folks, 
So let me hit refresh because I don't know, Remind has kind of frozen on me for a second. And bear with us once again. And let's hope that the result does show up. All right, we do see one result there, but that's not the one I'm looking for. All right, let's close this out. And once again, let's go ahead and open up add filter status. status, and then let's select live open house. All right, and let's cross our fingers and it's not showing up. All right, folks, so it's not showing up, but it should show up just like this, where it says virtual open house and people are able to find it and locate the open house. Now, what I'm gonna do, since it's not really showing up for me, I'm gonna go back to daily and I'm gonna click on my listing all right, and let me just double check that I um, did put it for today and at 1.30 p.m. So it is for today, Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. All right, so it's not showing up. Uh, let's call that a glitch for now. We, we, what I am going to show you is that you see this link right here, open house link, and then share the link. Let's click on the open house link and see exactly how people will see your virtual presentation. So here is the page and here's the play button. Once you go live from the property, this will start playing the video and anyone watching the stream will be able to see exactly what you're doing inside the property, okay? If you wanted to share this link, you click on share link. It is now copied and now you can share it via email or on your social media accounts. In order to run this live virtual open house, you must have the Remind application downloaded to your mobile devices. So you wanna go to your app stores, whether it's uh, Google Play or your iPhone app store, and you wanna download Remind, you wanna log in. And then what you're gonna do is that you're going to open up your Remind app from your phones, and you're going to access the live open house and you're gonna begin streaming. So I'm gonna give you a quick sample on how you get this done. If you guys give me a second and let me connect my phone to the webinar so we can get this done. So I'm gonna hit new share and then we're gonna go ahead through AirPlay. All right. All right, folks, you can now see my phone. And then what you guys are gonna do is that you're gonna click on the Remind app and you're gonna log in to Remind. All right, so here we are inside of my Remind app and right there, you will see right in the center, my Remind Live. And this is your Remind Live that is scheduled for today at 1.30 p.m. You do not need to begin at 1.30. If you want it to begin before 1.30, you can. And if you wanted to end after 1.30 um, or within five minutes, you can as well. It does not need to be the, the full 30 minutes. If you see to the right, there are three little dots. You can click on the three little dots and it says start Remind Live, copy link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start Remind Live and you're gonna see me briefly, all right? And uh, let's click on start Remind Live folks. And we're gonna go ahead and open up right there. And this is me streaming live. Hello folks, how are you? And I am now inside the property and we are running the virtual open house. We're walking through the property and showing everyone what the property looks like through Remind Live. When you're finished, you wanna go ahead and stop the video, okay? You wanna stop the video and then you can go back. You can hit on the back button, okay? And you, when you go now and you hit past, all right, these are your past presentations. And once this video is rendered, then you will see it inside of your past presentations. I recommend that you do not delete your past pre uh, presentations. You wanna keep your uh, presentations in here so you can share whenever you'd like. So you have your scheduled presentations and your past presentations. 
All right, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the trainers or inside of our chat. This is a very simple process on how to virtually present your listings inside of Remind. Okay, so let's go back and let's start sharing our screen once again. All right, and if I was to go here now to the video screen, as you can see, all right, this was me presenting live. So that was myself streaming live inside of that copied link where viewers will view your presentation. Okay, so let's close that out. And once again, that's this open house link right here. And then if you wanted to share the link, you can simply click on share link and it's gonna copy the link and then you're able to present it to anyone you'd like, okay? So that's to Remind Live. Now let's go ahead and close out Remind and let's go back into miamirealtors.com, all right? And the next one that we want to talk about is going to be ImmoViewer. ImmoViewer. So we're going to go to miamirealtors.com and then you're going to go forward slash ImmoViewer. And ImmoViewer is M or I M M O V I E W E R. And this is a uh, new program to Miami members this year where you're able to create very nice 3D. Um, presentations and also 360 degree presentations of your properties. And every single listing of yours will get a 15 photo slideshow added to your listing simply by adding a listing to the MLS. Before we get into ImmoViewer, let's show you by going inside of Matrix and let's show you by going inside of the listing that I have inside of Matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my listing and let's show you right here where it says single family home manufactured homes. And then we're going to go to the very last screen, which is the financial office information. So from the last screen of your data entry, you want to go to the very bottom and you want to go ahead and select MO viewer. Yes. By selecting MO viewer. Yes. You are allowing MO viewer to insert a 15 photo slideshow for free inside of your MLS listing. If you select MO viewer no, then it's going to default back to property panorama, which is a five photo slideshow from the older program that we used to use called property panorama. So let's go ahead and select yes for MO viewer for all of our listings. Now that I am in here, I want to go ahead and explain the OK to advertise real quickly. So when entering a listing in the MLS and you select no, you are not giving permission to agents to advertise your listings. If you select yes, then you're automatically giving permission to every agent to advertise your listing without written approval. If you select with written approval, then a written approval or written uh, they're going to have to ask you for permission in writing, and you're going to have to agree to allow them to promote your listing. So once again, there is a new field in the MLS this year called OK to advertise. No equals to no advertising. Yes equals to yes, I permit any agent to advertise my listing without written approval. And then the option that says with written approval, uh, I may allow, but I still require written approval, okay? Off to the right where it says virtual tour. This is a virtual tour that I have put in here and it's an unbranded virtual tour. So if you have a virtual tour from Emo Viewer or from any other program, you can always install that virtual tour into your listing by adding the virtual tour link. Let's make sure that your virtual tours inside of Matrix are unbranded, all right? So it cannot contain your photo. It cannot contain your name or your contact information. It needs to be simply a virtual tour and it needs to be about the property, all right? So let's go back and click on My Matrix. And um, 
one more thing before we leave Matrix and we go into Immo Viewer. Uh, recently, there's been a new service added to your Miami Realtors through HomeSnap. Every single rental listing that we put into the MLS has the ability to show up in Facebook Marketplace. And the way that your broker is going to allow this is that they need to go to Add Edit and then they need to go to where it says office and they need to put in their office ID. So for example, I'm gonna put in any office ID. Let's go with uh, CBRE01 and then let's click on edit. They are going to go to office syndication and advertise. And this has to be the broker now, okay? They're gonna to go to office syndication and advertise and then where it says syndicate to Facebook, marketplace via home stamp, you want to check this. By checking this or by the broker checking this, you are now allowing um, home snap to pull all of your rental listings and place them inside of Facebook marketplace. It is not going to be inside of your Facebook account. It's going to be inside of home snaps Facebook account, but it will be promoting your rental listing with your contact information. So very important to let your brokers know to please accept the syndication here to Facebook Marketplace via HomeSnap. All right, let's go back one. And let's also talk about the uh, syndication to OK to advertise. If your broker is willing to allow advertising to all listings in the office, then simply they need to log into their own office ID and they need to place yes to OK to advertise. Now, every single listing in the office will be defaulted to yes. That does not mean that the agent cannot individually select no. Yes, they can. They can go ahead and change the default of that listing to no. But by the broker selecting yes, then the default will always be yes to every listing entered in the office. All right. So once again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to the trainers there in the chat. And I wanna go ahead and let you guys know that we do have a, uh, um, a class called MLS Ad Edit and it's the Matrix 401 class where we go over all the different ways to enter listings correctly inside the MLS. So if you've never taken this class, it's an excellent class. You will master the art of data entry in Matrix and how to do it correctly. That class is also available inside of our YouTube channel. So if anyone wants to watch that video on demand, you can simply go to YouTube and then look for the Matrix 401 class. All right, so let's go back to MiamiRoachers.com forward slash ImmoViewer. What is ImmoViewer? ImmoViewer is going to create automated uh, uh, video slideshows of the first 15 photos of your listing and it's going to create a landing page with that video and it's going to place it inside of matrix you're also going to have unlimited access to unbranded immo viewer 3d 360 degree tour creation this is free okay to access immo viewer simply go to immoviewer.com as you can see over here on the right hand side it says immoviewer.com by the way, if you wanted to watch a short introduction on ImmoViewer, simply click on this video right here, hit play, and it's a short introduction on what you're gonna get through ImmoViewer. For help, you're gonna always email help at ImmoViewer.us. All right, let's go ahead and click on ImmoViewer.com and let's go ahead and log in. Everyone has a, a, an ImmoViewer account. All right, and you're gonna click on login. And I believe it's gonna log me in since I already logged in earlier today. So it did log me in. So those of you that uh, are accessing ImmoViewer for the very first time, when you click on login, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna hit forgot password. And when you hit forgot password, they will email you a temporary password that you will log in and then once you're logged in, you want to go to your settings on the upper right corner and you want to click on profile. Once inside of your profile, of course, you want to change your password. All right. So here we are inside of our settings and you want to change your password to a more personal password. 
Okay. All right. So let's go back to our MO Viewer homepage by selecting the MO Viewer logo. Most of everything I cover today is free. However, MO Viewer does have upgrades available. And at the very end, I will talk to you about what the upgrade consists of. Right now, we're going to talk about the video slideshow and the 3D tour. So let's click on the video slideshow. Uh, slideshow. This is very easy. This is the one listing that we have in the MLS. And by the way, the listing that we have in the MLS is a test listing. Notice the address, one test street. All right. So please do not submit any offers on this listing. It is currently listed at $1. All right. So um, you, you would not imagine how many people um, email us or go through uh, reverse prospecting to, to figure out you know, uh, more information about this listing. So this is a test listing from the Miami Realtors listed for $1, okay? What you guys are gonna see here is a branded video slideshow and an unbranded video slideshow, okay? Right here, you do have the ability to grab an embed code. Embed code means that you can grab the code and then you can embed this video inside of your websites. So those of you with websites and you wanna embed this slideshow in your website, you're going to copy the embed code, which is this right here. It's basically an HTML code. If you don't have any knowledge on how to do this, please ask whoever helped you with your website to embed this video directly onto your website. If you'd like to download the video in an MP4 file, you're gonna simply click on download and it will download this video. You click on download, you have video, and then you also have images, okay? What we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna go ahead and click on the video and it's gonna open up the video slideshow. It may open up the video slideshow, it may not. All right, so it's not opening it up. Um, let's go ahead and click on unbranded right here and it's gonna open up the actual landing page with the slideshow. There it is. All right, so if we were to hit play, there is audio in the background. However, I'm using a microphone system that you're not able to hear the audio, but there is an audio track in the background. And as you can see, it's a very cool slideshow that covers the entire screen. All right, those that are viewing this slideshow will be able to view the photos by clicking on the photos or they can switch back to the video, okay? If, you, if they want to share on Facebook or if you wanna share on Facebook, simply click on Facebook icon, also your Twitter icon over here, LinkedIn icon, or if you wanna share this via email, you click on the little email envelope and then you can share this via email. Folks, all of this is done for free. All right, notice how the listing details are at the bottom. All of this is done for free and loaded directly into your MLS listing by selecting the MO viewer, yes. As a default, it should be selected, yes. All right, we want you to use MO viewer. So it, the only way it's not gonna show up is, is you go into your listing and you say MO viewer, no, and then it defaults back to property panorama, all right? How can you pass up 15 photos versus five photos? All right, so 15 photos is a lot better. Let's close this out and that's the video tour. So guys, once you log into ML Viewer and you click on videos, you will always see your listings here with its very own 15 photo slideshow, okay? Now you are not able to edit the photos. So make sure that you always load the best 15 photos first on your listing, all right? You will not be able to change the format of the photos. In order to change the format of the photos, you will have to upgrade. And it's not that expensive. The upgrade is very inexpensive um, per year, all right? Let's go and click on 3D tour, which is over here on the left-hand side. And let's talk about building a very good-looking three-dimensional tour, okay? All right, so here we are. I have my tours and then I also have active tours, okay? We're gonna go ahead and I'm clicking on my tours right here, active tours, and I currently have no active tours. If I click on archive tours, you're gonna see that I do have a bunch of 
archive tours that, uh, you know, I've basically placed them in archive from my previous classes. Okay, so you can always archive a tour or when inside of your archive tour, you can always unarchive a tour. All right, simply by clicking on move to active or you can delete a tour by selecting delete. Now, let me go to create a tour and let's show you how to create a tour. First, let's give it a name. So I'm gonna give this a name. We're gonna call this virtual presentation. All right of my listing. All right, you're going to give the tour a name and then we're going to click on continue. So that's the name of my tour and then we have automatically added to the tour an outside section of the house, a ground floor and a first floor. If you would like to remove uh, one of these floors, simply click on the X and then you're going to remove the floor. All right. Now here we have the ability to add photos to the outside. So let's click on drop files to upload or click. So let's click here. And then I do have a folder here called Miami 360 where I'm gonna add my first photo. Now folks, if you have a 360 degree camera, you're gonna be able to stand in front of the house and take a full 360 degree photo of that property and the surrounding area. It only works with a 360 degree camera. However, if you do have a smartphone that takes panoramic photos, then you may be able to get as close as possible to a 360 degree view. The best thing is to purchase a 360 degree camera, okay? So right down here, we're gonna go ahead and add exterior, front, okay? Exterior front. That is the name of the room. So at this point, it's gonna be the exterior front, okay? The next thing I wanna do is I wanna go over here to where it says first floor, and then we're going to add now Let's add the entryway. All right, let's add the entryway and let's call this entry way. Oh, not there, not there, sorry. Let's put it down here. Name of the room, entryway. Okay. It is not necessary to add this right away. You can always just click on next and then go inside the tour and start adding the additional rooms. So let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and delete this. I can, I can remove this and then click on next. And then we're able to actually start editing our tour. So here's the virtual presentation of my listing, loading the 3D tour, okay? And I want you guys to see over here on the upper left corner, add a room, okay? Add a room. Currently, we have two rooms. We have the exterior and then we have the entry room or the entryway. Now on the lower left corner, you do have two icons. The second icon allows you to open this up and then go from the outside to the first floor, okay? So in the outside, I only have one photo. So now let me go to the first floor and then I do have a secondary photo right here in the first floor. Okay, right. now let's go ahead and click on add a room. Let's upload an image. And now let's upload the living room. All right, let's upload the living room. And then we're gonna call this living room. Notice down here how it says access restricted for this room. You do not wanna restrict access for rooms, this is uh, uh, essentially making the photo private and we don't wanna make the photo private. Let's go ahead and do not select access restricted for this room. And then do you wanna set this picture as the first room? You don't, we want the first picture, the exterior photo to be the first one. So let's click on send. And we just added the living room. All right, let's go ahead and do this again, add a room upload image. Folks, this is very simple to use. 
Now we're gonna go and we're going to uh, take a look at the kitchen. And then we're gonna call this kitchen. And we're gonna select send. And then we're gonna repeat the process until we have finished uploading all the different photos that we wanna present virtually to our, um, you know, to our contacts and inside of the MLS. So add room, upload image. Let's go with dining room now. Let's go with dining room. All right, let's call this dining room. Let's click on send. All right, two more to go. Let's click on add room. Let's now go into the bedroom. So bedroom. And then let's go ahead and call this bedroom. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on send. Last one is gonna be the bathroom, all right? So let's add one more and that's gonna be the bathroom. And then I wanna show you how to create a uh, kind of like a step through or workflow uh, for each picture. So clicking on upload image, let's go ahead and add the uh, bathroom bathroom right here. And then let's call this bathroom. All right, let's click on send. All right, folks, so now that we're finished, let's go back out to the outside. All right, let's go back outside and we're going to see now our outside photo. And as you can see, this is a 360 degree view. So you can imagine that to take a picture like this, you would have to hold still or invest in a tripod that you can place your camera on the tripod and then spin the camera around, taking a full 360 degree, uh, 60 degree view of the property, all right? So you're able to do panoramic views with your smartphones, but you will need a 360 degree camera in order to do the 360 views, okay? So now take a look up here. We have edit basics, blur a particular area of the photo. So for example, the address of the property, if you would like to blur this, you click on blur, and then you're gonna see a rectangular shape that you're going to Place it on top of the area you would like to blur out. So right here, and then you're gonna click on save. Eventually when I uh, view the presentation, this will not be visible to the public. All right, so I am blurring this area out. You can always click on edit to delete the blurred area, okay? Now let's go ahead and select right over here, limit view. So limit view basically allows you to select where um, you would like to begin your, no, not where you like to begin, sorry. The limit view is to crop your images. So if you like to crop your images, you can go ahead and resize and crop your images and then hit update. I am not going to limit my view. Viewing angle is to decide exactly where you would like to start your presentation. So. My presentation is to start right here in the center of the house, all right? So you can set where you would like to start the presentation. Info point, this is a great tool for your presentation. So for example, let's pretend that the roof is brand new installed this year. Let's place an info point right here on the roof. And then let's say new roof, all right? And then the message is new roof installed January 2020, okay? And then let's click on add. So we just added an info point up here, all right, called new roof. You can add another info point, for example, right here, you can say windows, all right, new windows. And then you just wanna say new windows installed January 2020, okay? 
and then click on save. So you can add different info points to your presentation. And then the last thing that you want to take a look at is going to be add hotspot. So the hotspot allows you to say, all right, this is where we're going to enter into the next room. So we're going to lead from that entry doorway into the entryway. Okay. Now let's click on the little arrow and see what happens. We're going to enter the room. All right. And now we're in the entryway. All right. So here's the entryway. There's the kitchen. And um, I'm hoping that, uh, that this is the living room right here. So we're going to add a, a hotspot right here. Click a little arrow. And then let's go into the living room. Okay. So let's click here. Enter the room. And then here we are in the living room. What's our next room going to be? It's going to be the kitchen. So I'm looking for the kitchen. I really can't find it. All right. So let's just uh, put a hot spot right there in this doorway. And let's take them to the kitchen. All right. And then let's click here and enter the room. And it's going to go into the kitchen. All right. Let's get back out of the kitchen. So let's add a hot spot right here. And then let's take them to the dining room. Folks, we're still preparing the presentation. I have not yet shown you the presentation itself. We're still preparing the presentation. Now, uh, don't forget hotspots. So for example, if there's something in particular you wanna talk about inside of the dining room or living room or any room in the house, uh, add um, info points, okay? Let's click on hotspot once again, and let's add this one here, and let's take them to the bedroom. Okay, and then one more is going to be the bathroom. So once again, add hotspot right here, and let's take them into the bathroom. Okay. We are now finished with the presentation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on exit on the upper right corner. All right. Do you want to finish editing the 3D tour? You say yes. And it is now completed. Okay, the tour is now completed. Now take a look, here's your tour. It is in your active folder. And it says completed today, October 20th. All right, by myself, Robert Rodriguez. You're gonna see right here, connection. So these are links, okay? You're also gonna have link to video. So here's another link. And then you also have the ability to embed this code into a website. You have statistics on your presentation. You have the ability to download this presentation, a PDF file, marketing images, QR codes, first image and banner, all the other images as well. And then more links over here. Now, if you wanted to present this tour live to any group of people, you're gonna click on Start Live, sort of like what we did with Remind Live. You can click on Start Live and you're gonna be able to present this tour in a live format to a group of people virtually, all right? All you need to do is you need to click on invite and you wanna start inviting participants, putting in their full name and their email address and invite participant. So for example, if I wanted to invite my friend Maggie, all right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in her email address. All right, and click invite participant. Maggie has just received an email from myself inviting her to view this live presentation inside of um, Imo Viewer. sorry. You will also be able to chat with participants. So it's, it's almost like you're doing a live walkthrough of the presentation inside of Imo Viewer. all right? So take a look, the blurred area is blurred out, okay? The info point talks about the new windows installed in January, 2020. The info point up here for the new roof also talks about the new roof installed in 2020, all right? And it is a full 360 degree view, okay? So guess what's happening? I have a guest and is joining us. Would you like to allow the par participant to visit the virtual tour offline? If yes, we will send an email with the link, yes. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and click here. And guess where it takes us? Into the entryway. And then this one takes us inside of the dining room. And then this one here takes us inside of the next room. So it's a full presentation virtually of your listing, okay? Now, I'm going to show you that, um, let's close this out real quick. I'm gonna show you that I logged out. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, let's log back in. And what I wanna show you is that that's start live. But if you wanted to share this, you can always click on share and you're able to share it via email. You're able to share it via Facebook or Twitter. So if I wanna share the whole tour on Facebook, all right, you're gonna go ahead and click on Facebook. It says email social media share can be done in two ways, unlimited or limited. Let's go unlimited, okay? And it's an unlimited view to this tour currently being posted onto Facebook, okay? That's one way to do it, folks. You can always click on links and then you have a private link, a public link, a non-branded link, and link with customized starting room. Excuse me, here's the difference. The private link, okay, is if you made a, a presentation where some rooms are off limits, where you restrict access to some rooms, then that's the private link. The public link is gonna be the link to this virtual presentation meant for anyone to watch, all right? So if you wanted to paste this on uh, Facebook as well, you're gonna simply copy this link and then you're gonna go and place on, on Facebook. Or if you wanted to create a hyperlink in your email, or if you wanted to create a hyperlink and add it to your website, you can grab this link. The non-branded link, folks, the non-branded link, that's the one that goes inside of Matrix. So you have the 15 photo slideshow, and then if you want the 3D tour, you're gonna grab this link and then go to the URL for your virtual presentation inside of Matrix, and then you're gonna paste this link. Make sure it's always the non-branded link. And then if you have a presentation with a customized starting room, then you can go ahead and select this link here, okay? You can choose another room if you like, and then customize the starting room and then share this link. All right, so those are your links inside of MO Viewer for that particular video, all right? Now it is currently a 3D video, all right, or a 3D presentation and it is currently turned on. In the event that you're creating one of these presentations and you do not have a 3D camera, then you wanna turn it off and it's going to be a presentation with still photography. So it isn't a 3D, it's, a, it's a, you know, I guess 2D, okay? These are all 3D, all right? Now, let's talk about what you can purchase inside of ImmoViewer. So if you guys take a look over here, you can order 2D floor plans or dollhouses, all right? So here's what this means. You're able to purchase for $25 a floor plan of your property simply by providing them pictures. They are gonna to put together a 2D black and white floor plan for your property by providing them the photos. No measurements are needed. For $34.95, you get this beautiful dollhouse plus the floor plan simply by providing them the pictures. So if you wanna present your listing in, in an incredible dynamic way, uh, this is a must. And just simply click on order. I would imagine you're gonna have to enter your credit card information and then they're gonna ask you to upload the photos you would like to use for the kitchen, for the living room, for the bedrooms. Again, no measurements needed, okay? No measurements needed. So that's uh, what you get for purchasing a 2D or a 3D, uh, a 2D uh, floor plan plus a dollhouse, okay? By the way, the $35 package is gonna get you I believe both. You're gonna get not just the dollhouse, but also the black and white. You can see over here. 
So it's the dollhouse plus the 2D uh, floor plan. All right. So that's exciting. Um, once inside here, folks, you can go and you can click on tour visitors and it's going to show you who's visited the tour. So for example, I had today on October 20th, I had a guest, uh, 7036, which I imagine was Maggie, and she was visiting my tour. Okay. Statistics. I'm going to have statistics on my tour. So here's all the tours I've created ever since I started using this system. And uh, looking for the one I just created today and I don't see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. So here it is. And I had three visits to the tour. Okay. I had three visits to the tour. The orange or the brown represents the number of non registered visitors, and the green represents number of, of registered visitors. So I had three total visitors to my tour today. Okay, so you got statistics on your tour, you got tour visitors as well, the ability to create tours over here. And last but not least, folks, contact information. You want to go to contact options and you want to make sure that your contact information is correct. Okay. You want to make sure that your contact information is correct. So you want to go in here and you want to edit this by clicking on edit over here on the right hand side. And it's my phone number, my email address, and then city and state. And then you want to go ahead and upload your image. You can upload your image right here where it says browse and then upload your image. And then you want to click on submit when finished. Okay, this is your MO Viewer program, part of your virtual office list, um, part of your virtual listing presentation uh, tools here that we have in the Miami Association of Realtors. Once again, if you have any questions in regards to MO Viewer, you can always email them and it's help at moviewer.us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Once again, that's trainers at miamire.com. I want to thank our trainers our team for joining us in our chat and answering some of your questions. As I can see, there was quite a bit of activity inside. So thank you very much, Christy, Connie, and Maggie for helping us out today. If you're interested in watching this video, we will place this video inside of our YouTube channel. And then again, if you're interested in retaking this class, we will be holding this class at 2.30 today in Spanish. So for Spanish speakers, Join us today at 2.30 and we'll repeat the class. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending our presentation. And as always, thank you for being Miami members and make it a wonderful afternoon.